Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mary. Welcome back to another cleaning motivational video. Today I have a lot of cleaning to do. I am also going to restock some snacks in the pantry as well as work in the butler's pantry. A little bit of laundry and also I'm going to do a little grocery shopping haul. It's a small one but I had to go to the store and buy a few groceries for our trip to Destin. I hope you find some motivation and inspiration from this video and if you do give it a like and also feel free to press that subscribe button below so with that being said let's get started i'm going to start my day off with making my bed it really does set a positive tone and it gets me motivated for the rest of the day when i make my bed it feels more organized and my room feels less cluttered which really reduces my stress levels and not to mention a made bed simply just makes any room look better and put together Chuck is off to work, so I want to quickly say goodbye. As a stay-at-home mom, my days revolve around taking care of our daughter, Ellie, and maintaining a clean and organized home. From preparing the meals and managing household chores to ensuring Ellie is happy and engaged, my role is both rewarding and it's also demanding at times. Keeping our house in order brings a sense of peace and comfort to our family, and I enjoy what I do. Meanwhile, Chuck was hard as the primary breadwinner. I used to work and made six figures, but I gave that up to stay at home and take care of the house and take care of Ellie. Chuck dedicates himself to his job to provide for us. His role allows me to focus on our home and Ellie, and it creates a balanced partnership where both of our contributions are essential to our family's well-being and happiness. The bed is made, so now moving on to the dining room. As you know, when packages come in, we always place the packages in this room. It's just convenient. So I'm going to quickly try to clutter this space, go through all the packages. Getting packages is kind of like Christmas. It just brings me a bit of joy and excitement in my day. I got to tell you, I get so excited when I open up my packages and see the items that I purchased, try them on and see how they fit. This is a Lululemon jacket. I know it's warm outside, but I saw it and I thought it was just so cute. So I had to get it. Ellie wants to have a girl's day, so I purchased some products on Shein as well as Amazon so that we can have a girl spa day. I also bought a few athletic Lululemon tights that I'm going to try on and see if they fit. I have my Shein package that just came in, so I'm excited for that. I'll just quickly go through everything so I can declutter this room, get it nice and tidy. I'm losing sight. I want to get to the dishes, but before I do that, I'm going to do a little bit of multitasking and throw the laundry into the dryer. This approach ensures that the household chores are completed more quickly, reducing my overall workload. I can hide. When drying my clothes, I always like to throw a couple bounce sheets in there with it. It helps my laundry smell nice. It helps eliminate static electricity. Also, it is known to reduce wrinkling and helps my garments and linens feel softer. 
There are so many dishes in the sink that need to be loaded into the dishwasher. It is half full. I don't know why I didn't get to the rest of it last night, but I didn't. So I'm going to work on that right now. I'm going to carefully place each item, ensuring the larger pots and pans fit well at the bottom and the smaller items like utensils are securely positioned on top. Once I load it, I will add detergent and start the cycle and then I will be on my way. I really like the finished quantum tabs with the red dot when I am washing my dishes in the dishwasher. That red tab has technology that really cleans the dishes and gives it a nice sparkling shine. And did you know that you are doing yourself a disservice when you pre-rinse your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher? It can actually inhibit the detergent and dishwasher from working effectively. I've read this over and over again because during the pre-wash cycle in most modern dishwashers, water circulates to knock anything off your dishes and the cloudiness of the water is measured by sensor so if the sensor recognizes that there's food in your dishes you know the ie the cloudy water your dishwasher will run a more effective cycle giving you better clean but by pre-rinsing dishes you're inadvertently telling your dishwasher hey you don't have to work as hard since some dishes may be pre-rinsed better than others your dishwasher may not tackle all the stains if the sensor thinks the water isn't cloudy since some of the dishes may be pre-rinsed better than others your dishwasher may not tackle all of the stains if the sensor thinks the water isn't as cloudy and as a result dishes may need to be rewashed after the cycle is over so i thought that was very interesting read and i just wanted to share it with you so stop pre-rinsing those dishes and save yourself some time and energy why did i stay i should be leaving hey what i say without even speaking my compass is off why did i choose you i'm just too lost i need to cut loose i keep it in my head i keep it locked away my friends think that this is over guess it's the price i pay Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me love, let me let go and let me love again. Let go and let me love, let me love, let me let go and let me love, let me let me let go and let me love again. One of the best ways to avoid drain problems is prevention. Cleaning out drains with baking soda and vinegar on a regular basis, I'd say once a month, can prevent accumulation of debris and clogs altogether. Completely clogged drain will require professional help most of the time, but if you're in a bind, using baking soda and vinegar might be a quick fix for a partially clogged drain. What the solution does is dissolves and pushes the sludge through the pipes to allow water to flow more easily. I don't want to feel this way, but it's not that easy. You're complicating things for me. No, it's not that easy. Maybe just a little time can heal me, but it doesn't feel the way. What are you doing to me? Why'd you break my heart? There are a few snacks in the pantry that need to be restocked. Chuck's 
protein bars are running low i'm going to restock those as well as a few other snacks and place them in the lazy susans i love these things and i'm going to link them in the description below i think that the lazy susans just make everything look so much more organized plus they're a lot of fun there's something about your face can't stop looking your way Have you ever heard of Bird's Cookies? Well, they are locally owned and operated here in Savannah, Georgia. It's such a fun cookie company. There's a variety of different sweet as well as savory cookies and crackers. And every time I go in one of these stores, we were just downtown a few weeks ago having dinner and we stopped by because Ellie absolutely loves their chocolate chip cookies and Chuck loves them too. My favorite one is the Key Lime Coolers. and it made history when it became the first cookie to win dessert of the year at the Specialty Food Association Fancy Food Show. They are so delicious and delightful. I know the company is just celebrating their 100 years of being in business. What a great feat, but I'm just going to take a little nibble since I'm working so hard in this pantry. But if you're ever in the Savannah area, you should check them out. They offer a lot of free samples. And I'll place a link in the description if you're ever wanting to place an order for these delicious chocolate chip cookies.
I probably need to check the refrigerator to see if any old leftover food needs to be thrown away or discarded. Then I will wipe down the entire counter space, get that nice and clean and free of any food or drink debris that's been lying on the counter. know how the gas burner gets so dirty but it does that looks like leftover egg whites chuck cooks eggs every morning and for some reason he always manages to drop some of the egg whites onto the stove range but that's okay i'm going to clean it up wipe it down use the wyman's gas range cleaner that always does such a good job but but i definitely think that the gas stove is overdue for a good cleaning then i'll be all right i've been having thoughts in my mind i can't get up can't save myself from you and nobody else Everything inside of my side This is all so new to me I can do it all in your way Say all the things that you say I can do it all in one night When I go out The light doesn't shine on me I fade out It's all so new to me I need you to show me the way The light doesn't shine on me As you know, I always leave a final clip at the end of my video showing you what's been going on in our lives. And I'm so excited because we are preparing for our trip to Dustin with the family and friends. There's about 40 of us. Ellie and I had to make a quick stop to TJ Maxx and a few stores to try and find a luggage because one of the wheels on our luggage, well, it's half broken. It still works, but I'm so afraid that it's going to break and it's going to be very inconvenience because then I'll have three wheels which how do you roll a suitcase that only has three wheels while we're at TJ Maxx we looked around at some of the beauty products Ellie is really into beauty products and her beauty regimen I think she's a little bit young but there are some safe products out there for girls her age which is 11 but all of her cute little friends they love to go to Sephora and Ulta they're really getting into this stuff these days these young kids but that's okay they're having fun and there's nothing wrong with it I also go to my neighbor's tree next door they have a huge pear tree and the pears are ripe for the picking and there's hundreds of pears one of their branches actually a few of the branches are starting to break because there's just so many pears on this tree this year in the past there just hasn't been that many but the tree is definitely producing this year so I'm going to pick a few of those and bring them down to Florida with us and share them with the family I'm also going to give a few to my friends so she can make some pear preserves one of Chuck's favorite places to eat is Raising Cane's and they normally have those in Louisiana we don't have them here in Georgia so he was hoping that on our way down to Florida we would run or stop by Raisin Cane's if they had it and we accidentally found a Raisin Cane so that really made his night. I think we stopped and ate there around 9 30 which was quite late. We finally got to Dustin at around 
midnight and we were exhausted. So I'll show you some of those clips at the end, but just in the next few videos, I'll show you clips of our Dustin trip. We are actually in Dustin right now. I'm editing as we speak, but it's going to be a fun week being with family and friends. I was able to shoot my cleaning video before I left and now I'm editing, but it's not going to be all work and no play. I'm trying to just get as much done and make sure this video comes out on Thursday for you guys and then I'll be able to enjoy the rest of my time here. I am almost to the point of starving and that is so bad I try not to let my body get there because then I tend to overeat which is so bad I am going to have some coconut water there's some white jasmine rice with some lobster and shrimp and scallops as well as some vegetables I love this type of meal I love jasmine rice it's so fragrant and it smells and tastes so good that along with some protein from the seafood and the vegetables it's a great mix of fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. You need all three. And I try to incorporate all three into almost every meal that I eat. I try and get as much protein into my diet on a daily basis as I can. As you get older, you lose muscle mass, and I'm very aware of that. I've been trying my best to get more weight workouts in. I play a lot of tennis. There's my cardio. And of course, I exercise in other forms, but I have been in the gym exercising since the age of 12. It's, it's like breathing. I don't think about exercising. I just do it and one thing I love about tennis is that it does not feel like exercise I have done every type of aerobics spin boxing class that you can imagine I've done it all it does get monotonous but you really need to find something that you enjoy doing maybe it's going for a walk line dancing kickboxing pickleball that's the new sport of the moment I think that one is definitely here to stay but whatever it is just go out and exercise for 20 to 30 minutes a day. Get some sunlight on your face. It will make you feel so good and revive you. On my way back from my tennis match, I had to stop by the grocery store and pick up a few groceries. Ellie is my picky eater. I bought her these dinosaur chicken nuggets. She likes that. She also likes cheese pizzas. She doesn't like any other toppings on that. But I try and buy some fresh fruit. She loves her fruit. So I buy her strawberries, watermelon. She's not a banana eater, but check my like bananas. She also likes, well, she doesn't like vegetables, but she does like green beans. I'll buy these green beans and she'll eat those. So I'm happy about that because that is at least a vegetable she will eat. I also bought some salad, classic salad, as well as a Springfield salad mix. I like to add these together and make a fresh salad with some protein on top. Bought some bagels with cream cheese as well as some Doritos for Ellie's snacks. And this is why you don't go to the store hungry because you make impulse buys like this cinnamon roll. So I am a sucker for a pastry. Ellie's been having some issues with her stomach so we're going to try this lactose free milk. I think it tastes just as good as regular milk. It doesn't taste any different to me. I also bought her some strawberry cream cheese as well as regular cream cheese just to see if she would like to eat that on her bagel. I love cream cheese on a bagel and the strawberry one's really delicious. The cherry plums are out right now and this is such a splurge. They're kind of pricey but they taste so good and they're so convenient and juicy and delicious. I'll take a bag with me and eat them and snack on them throughout the day. They're just delicious and convenient. You came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on 
But when that in the shadows can ease your broken heart They turn my volume up, you shut your mind Wanna escape your thoughts for a little while But when you close your eyes, I'm by your side I'm by your side, babe When you close my eyes, I'm by your side, babe When you close my eyes, I'm on your mind, babe You'll find me there dancing in the crowd You tell yourself that it's over I'm almost finished. Just a few more things to do. I need to organize all these shoes. Actually, I need to purge and declutter the space so badly. That will be on a future video. There's a lot of things in this mudroom that needs to go. A lot of shoes Ellie no longer wears that I no longer wear as well as Chuck. Ellie's old soccer uniform, things like that. So I will have to get to the space at a later time. I'm also going to take out the trash and then I think I'm done. But as you know, I'm going to leave you with few clips at the end of this video of everything that's been going on in our lives we're heading down to Dustin as I mentioned earlier I'm so excited the day is finally here I'm picking pears off my neighbor's tree I love doing that stuff it was so much fun to go next door and pick these pears I'm going to keep a few for myself share some with my family as well as give some to my friends but there are a ton of pears on this tree and it produced a lot of pears this year so I'm excited about that Ellie and I also had to make a quick stop to TJ Maxx we went to Walmart. We also went to Ross, which I don't normally go to Ross, but we needed luggage. One of our luggages, well, the fourth wheel is about to break. It still works, but I didn't want anything to happen. And then we're lugging around a piece of luggage that only has three wheels. So I couldn't make it all the way into Savannah because we're about to hit the road. So we quickly went down the road, went to TJ Maxx, Walmart, Ross, and tried to find something, but we couldn't. So what we'll do is maybe deal or go with what we have and then maybe try and buy something at a later date. I didn't want Ellie to just buy any piece of luggage. I wanted her to buy a luggage that she really liked. And the last one she saw had flowers on them. Right now, we'll just make do with what we have. But as always, I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you found a lot of motivation and inspiration from my video. And it was so much fun to clean with you. I hope you were able to clean your home and we were able to clean our homes together. That's always fun. And if you were just sitting back and watching, that's okay too. I like to sit back and watch cleaning videos myself, so I get it. But that is it for now. I hope you stay to the end. And I'll look forward to seeing you on my next cleaning motivational video. In the meantime, have a great week and I will see you soon. Think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at that time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes It's like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till
Fly 